everybody. Welcome to FlossTube episode 25. Today it is Sunday the 20th of September and my camera is not as I want it to be. Uh, today is going to be a very boring episode so just stop watching right now no I'm just kidding um, I don't have very much to say today actually uh, it's been a very horrible week <laughs> and I have only been stitching on two projects however before uh, you leave the video I want you to know that in the end of the video, we're going to have a giveaway. So hang, hang in there, hang in there. Um, <clears throat> I haven't gotten any new questions. I have uh, gotten lots of comments. I love them. Just keep them coming. Um, last week we had a question of the week. Uh, where the question was if you guys stitched uh, holiday pieces and there were there was a mix I guess uh, I think still a few more of you like to stitch holiday uh, themed stitches and I think most of you said Halloween and Christmas so question of the week for this week is how do you stitch? Do you cross-country stitch? Do you park or do you extreme cross-country stitch? Or do you stitch with one color at a time? How, how do you stitch? That would be nice to know. So leave your comments down below, please. And while you're down there, subscribe. Don't forget. How do I stitch? Well, I stitch them all, you know, I, I, I use all the techniques, but I do think that parking is the one I like the most. I think so. Yes. So I'm looking forward to read your answers to the question. And the question is provided from the Heaven and Earth Designs uh, Facebook group. So the questions aren't anything that I'm making up. I just uh, answer that the question here on my floss too. So, um, yeah, that was that. That was fast. <laughs> um, let's look at some progress. I have stitched on my Mirabilia. So yeah, I only stitched on two projects. I actually planned on stitching uh, my on my sampler as well but I didn't feel like it and I don't believe in forcing yourself to stitch something you don't like because then it's not fun anymore I'm just fighting with it Okay, so Mirabilia, here she is, portrait of Veronica. <laughs> oh my god, so I, I actually finished this part as I wanted to. I have a little bit more of the, the darker part of her dress to do, but I think that was quite some nice progress. And of course, since I haven't stitched on many of the others, She is stitched on 32 count linen. I'm using two threads of DMC over two. So I, I think I stitched on her like three evenings this week. I'm very happy about it. And Becca asked me to bring her along uh, to the stitch retreat this weekend. Why? Yes, or this coming weekend. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm gonna go and bring 
uh, Veronica. And I'm going to actually bring the frame as well. And I hope that's doable to sit at a table to and stitch using this frame. I hope so anyways. So that was that. Did I forget to say anything about it? I can show you the picture of Veronica, how she will look finished. Very beautiful. So I've stitched all this part here. I'm down to here. I'm going to finish this and then there is some dark green and black over there. Uh, so I think I've done like a third, I guess. So it's very nice. And if you didn't know, I love Mirabilia. So, <clears throat> and the other uh, one I have stitched on is my Heaven and Earth design, the Secret Garden, which is a max color and a super sized. And I'm stitching it on 25 count, the easy guide or the easy grid or whatever you call it. And I'm very surprised that I actually did this much progress. When I started, I only had the top row done, like the top row up here. So I've actually stitched all this. And it's very difficult to see what it is actually, but I guess it's a lot of flowers and greens and stuff because it's a garden. Yeah. Uh, and I only have two of these this time, and this is working a lot better than the other one I showed you guys yesterday with all the stuff hanging. And I have an old needle minder, the Christmas one. I just love that. And the new kitty stuff there. Yeah. And um, I was very surprised that I enjoyed this much, this one as much as I did, because when the wheel uh, chose the secret garden, I was like, oh no, because it is a super sized max color. And when I started this one, I was like, I will never, ever, ever park a max color piece ever again. But I think it's just actually when you're starting out uh, where you have no party threads whatsoever. I think that is the thing which makes it difficult because you need to pull new threads all the time. But once you've done that, I mean, I have hundreds of party threads here and it's so nice to just pick a thread thread the needle and stitch and using the pattern keeper it's easy you then you park it you pick up the next thread you know you thread the needle and you go ahead very very soothing so i have enjoyed this one so much and that is why i didn't stitch on my sampler because i enjoyed mirabilia and my heaven and earth that's so much and I've tried to keep track on how many stitches I did on the secret garden. And let's see, that's one, two, three, six, plus eight. Math is not my thing. So that is 1400 plus 100. So 1500 stitches. And I think I stitched 100 stitches today. So that's like 1600 stitches of a max color piece. That's not bad. And I enjoyed it so much. And since the upcoming week here is kind of crazy. Um, and I'm not going to be home that much. I've decided to continue stitching on my secret garden. Uh, I'm not going to spin the wheel this week uh, because I only have like it's Sunday today. Then I have a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at home, and uh, I'm working, of course. And then I'm off Thursday to Monday, where at Thursday evening I'm going to the stitch retreat. 
I'm like, I really want to scream, but I'm like over 40 years old, so I shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm going to be at the Stitch Retreat, Soul Stitch, Thursday to Sunday. Um, and then Monday I'm off after that just to recover. Uh, so I will just, you know, if I have a day more on this, I will just continue that. And on the stitch retreat, so we let's just go to the um, plants. Um, I'm, I'm bringing um, a mirabilia uh, because Rebecca wants to, or Becca wants to see it. And I thought, well, I could bring her and maybe I just feel like stitching my mirabilia, which will be great because then I get even more progress on her. Uh, so I'm going to bring that one and it's easy to bring the threads. It's not so much. And then I'm bringing, I think, my long dog sampler, the pandemic, which is also quite easy. I have very few threads on that. And then I know that uh, the fabric for my Deliciosa is coming to the stitch retreat. And I don't want to start that one really, really bad. So I'm actually thinking of either like starting her there. So then I'm bringing my floss body, which I've, I've put all the threads in it. Um, and then I'm actually considering uh, bringing the Fantastic Voyage uh, because it's also easy to bring those threads with me. So those are the um, four, um, projects I'm going to focus on and I only have like two full days and two half days maybe and within that time we're going to try out some cool um, workshops as well so we'll see we'll see um, so that was progress that was plans no questions <laughs> no nothing this is going to go so fast Um, what should we do? We uh, should take a look at the new releases from Heaven and Earth Designs. And since I didn't show you guys last week, I kind of checked fast before I started filming and there's quite a lot of new releases. So since I don't have anything else to show you, I don't have any haul, I'm sorry, but you know, I haven't bought anything new, nothing, nada. Because I have gotten myself a snake instead. So that was kind of expensive. Um, let's see, let's start recording here. Start. Let's go to heaven and earth so we're gonna start like where's the new releases here on page seven and if you're watching the new releases with me please um think even page eight uh, please you know uh, share with me also in the comments uh, which uh, favorite design uh, did you like um, so yeah I don't know blowing in the wind blowing in the wind these flowers are so beautiful it's Marianne Broom very beautiful. And I saw that there were three flowers. So I guess it's the same uh, designer. So this is also Marianne Broom. And this one is called Dark Pink Peonies. I wonder if that is watercolor um, paintings. Oh, two poppies. This one was very nice as well. 
but it's like you know it's a lot of the same color you know it's 89 colors so there's still a, a huge color variation but for me i mean it looks beautiful i know a finished piece piece like this is gonna be just amazing um but uh, I would never stitch something like that myself. Not like how I feel about it now. So we're just passing the needle threaders. So here, that's a material pack. So that's not interesting. That's also a material pack. That's material. I mean, the material packs, you know, the designs has already been released. So I'm jumping them. I'm sorry. Here's a new one. Hazel's point of view. Oh, look at that bear. Oh, it's very sweet. Once upon a time lived a girl who loved, who loved. She had a magical, oh, oh, the, oh, oh, <laughs> the text continues. Once upon a time there, there lived a girl who loved to paint. She had a miracle magical brush that would transport the hmm to other worlds. Huh, that's sweet. Who's the um, Dakota Daytwiler? Detwiler? I'm sorry for killing the name. Very nice, beautiful. I like the text there. Jelly Space. Oh, I like this one. It's so cool. Ooh. It's also a Dakota dish. That's twi Twilight or something. Yeah. This one is so awesome. So awesome. 90 colors. Oh, I need I need to look uh, at it how the the crop looks. Oh, yeah, nice, very nice. But also a lot of blues and hmm, I don't know if it would be so much fun to stitch the Breakfast Club. Seriously, <laughs> oh, it, it is so cute, and I like the way you know how the. Um, the leaves uh, frames the picture and that that it is out of focus and then also like the background is out of focus and you have the cows and the birds there which is in focus very sweet breakfast club oh and it's also dakota the twilight yeah dakota and uh I like this one. I could imagine stitching this one. It's so cute. And they have birds on their head, their heads as well. By the way, Breakfast Club. Did you guys watch that movie when you were like young? If you're in my age. I have some great memories from that movie. Uh, well, you know, watching it together with my older sister. Yeah. Maybe that's why I like the picture a little bit more as well. So we have a mini Nights by L. A. Williams. That was a little bit easier to pronounce. Very cool. I think I have seen um seen a progress, a whip picture of this on Heaven and Earth on Facebook. But like it, it must have been like the regular size. So there's only 17 colors in this. I mean the gray scale pictures are so cool. But imagine stitching with only 17 colors. Yep, I tried. I didn't finish. <laughs> uh, oh, we have this, the Kindred Spirit. A very uh, popular design by Anne Stokes. And so this is a story keep. That would be cool, you know, to have the story keep. And then you make that one as a, a max and uh, not uh, no a super sized that would be cool very nice a lot of green and we have one of my favorites 
Comforts of, of Home by Terry Redlin, and they have made this into a mini. And I was very curious of, oh, they didn't put in a crop. Oh, that's too bad. Very nice one, I like this one a lot. And then we have the stocking. I don't like the stockings at all. A mini Dragon Queen. Oh, Linda Ravenscroft, she makes some cool artwork. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And what's next? Celestine Max Colors. This one is also very sweet by Margaret Morales. I love the faces of her uh, girls that she makes. It's very pretty. Um, very nice. 239 colors. <whistles> yeah. What's next? Let's scroll down. Oh yeah, Mother Earth, max colors as well. Still very, very brown. Oh, look at the foxes down there. Who made this picture? Jenna de la Grotaglia, de la Grotaglia. But that is a piece of powerful art. Look at the foxes. There. Oh, they are so cute. And oh, there's a rabbit as well. Oh, I need to look at the crop. Oh, God, it's going to look amazing. I hope someone starts stitching that. That would be a lot. That would be cool to, to see the progress. And then we have another story keep among the cherry blossoms by Christine Mills. Oh, very sweet. Very cute. Also would be cool to make the story keep as a max. Uh, no, what do I say max size? It's super sized. And we have a mini winter magic, Elizabeth Walker. So this is these fractal pictures very cool but nothing I would ever stitch but I think they will look cool of course it's a lot of blue a lot of blue but that's also the cool thing about you know heaven and earth that you have something for every taste you know everyone finds something you like and we have tea and books a mini it's not long it's not too long ago uh, they released this one so it's bridget ashwood and we have the queen here a spring queen max colors also not too long ago they released this one imagine max colors here my god and we have the Summer Queen as well as Max Colors by Bridget Ashwood. I bet it's the same girl or boy who ordered this one. I like this one. She's very, very beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Whoops. And we have a supersized Addie's Window and Max Colors. Very nice. I like this one. She's reading and she just makes her own fantasy, you know. Like it. Like it very much. And we have an ornament. I wonder ornaments. How big are those? 222. 225 by 225. Yeah, that's easy peasy. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. It's not easy peasy. And we have another Christmas ornament. Snow much in love. Did I say what the sleigh writes? Yeah. This is Donna Gelsinger. Yes, of course. Donna Gelsinger. Very cute. See? 
and we have a quick stitch quick stitch steampunk fairy by meredith dillman oh meredith dillman that's nice yeah it's okay it's very uh, drawed it's a very drawed picture but yeah it's cool oh let's go to the next page we're halfway there let's see we have another mini which way which way oh that was a nice one it's by molly harrison and i guess a lot of us uh started looking at these um um halloween ha halloween themed pictures <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty nice it's pretty nice oh and yeah i love this one james c christensen the oldest angel max colors oh my god would i ever stitch it no but it's so cool very nice and we have morning kiss max colors by jody Berksma. This is really pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And we have Mini Out of the Shadows by Kevin da Daniel. So this is like a mountain lion. I've heard some crazy stories about my mountain lions. From the states return of spring how cool isn't this picture by ian daniels wow this is really cool how many pic uh, pictures how many colors 88 colors i need to take a closer look at this one i like this one a lot she has a very nice face. And this is how it will look finished stitched. Very nice. Great job. Mm. Yeah, it would be nice to see a thread pack for for that picture because it looks like it's all the same color, but it's not. I mean, 88 colors. It would be really cool to see. So here we have a Starbase Draconis by Rob Carlos. That's a lot of dragons with a lot of people. Yeah, it's nice. I think it would be fun to stitch all the different characters. And we have some string tensioners. Oh. No, that's a material pack. But it still looked very cool, didn't it? And that's a material pack, and that's a material pack. We'll pass them. And we have material pack. Another one, and another one. Lots of material packs. And then we have some scissor fobs. Yeah, they're very nice. Ooh, Gracioso. Is this a, yeah, that's a Laurie Prindle. It's very beautiful. My God. Yeah, you people who love horses should just love those designs by Prindle. So, so beautiful. And oh, yeah, I know this is a material pack, but we have to take a look at this. This is the limited edition uh, and the artist is, who's the artist? Mm. Okay, uh, I can here let's see 
I didn't remember because I haven't, I'm not going to buy it. I think, however, it's very cool. And I don't know why they don't put in the name of the artist. Jessica Elaine? Jessica Elaine. Elaine, yeah. But I mean, it's very, very, very nice. And what I think is nice about it is what I like, what catches my eye is, well, first of all, is the, the light, how the light is hitting and catching um, her hand and dress and everything. But it is the dress, which makes me think it's very pretty. And this is how it looks uh, if it would be finished. And well, yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty. It's a very pretty chart, but I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm still waiting for like Randall Spangler or something, you know, something I just can't say no to. But it's very nice. Let's see. Material packs. It's all material packs. Here, Mini, the Magical Glen. The Magical Glen by Leanne Seed. Pretty. Very pretty. What's next? Ooh, super sized home on the range. No, home on the ranch, maybe? Max colors. Cool. Jeff Haney. So a lot of things going on, a lot of strong colors. And we have Jungle Eyes Panther, also max colors. Oh my God, look at all the green there. How many colors? 106. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And we have come to the final page. Oh my God, I never thought we would get there. So we have another mini meditation. It's one of those fractionals. And I like this one better because it has uh, a bigger color variation, of course. So it's very nice, but I would still, I would never ever stitch something like that. And it's not that it's, I mean, it's not that it's, it looks like I'm sitting like this with a, <clears throat> with a, <laughs> with a pad. Um, it's, it's very be beautiful, but I would, I think, get bored stitching it but that's me it doesn't have to be you um so what's next we have a mini ruby rose panther by sheena pike very cool very cool and we have one of my absolute favorites i mean talking about stitching something holiday themed this would definitely be one of them this is the mini holiday friends by tamara markegaard i've seen this one finished as a regular and it's so so nice i have to take a closer look at this i hope they have put in a crop So that's my vicious dog, Billy, barking in the background because someone was ringing on the door. They didn't put in a crop, so. But this one is nice. I would like to stitch this one. And he keeps on barking. And I think it's because my husband just got some new air muffs, which are noise canceling, so he can't hear a thing. So he didn't hear that it was ringing on the door, and he didn't hear that the dog was, was that the dog was barking. But I'm making a floss tube, so I can't go. Anyway, 
here's another one mini boho seaside view by mini charts no this is amy stewart of course yeah i like all the flowers and we have abandoned hope with a lot of black in it super cool yes i like it 14 colors but well, that's a lot of black let's let's do something fun let's go take a look at the flush charge oh i bet there's like 35 skeins of black or something we need to look <laughs> that's crazy 76 skeins of black oh my god good luck <laughs> oh children of the night very cool i think this one would be kind of fun to stitch who's the art, uh, artist is alchemy gothic okay oh, okay that's a strange name then we have alembic by night and this is also alchemy gothic that's a cool piece yes very cool and then we have babylon burning also by alchemy gothic very cool and we have behold the basilisk by alchemy gothic and i liked it until i saw that there was a naked lady in his eyes so i didn't like that anymore yes it's not that i have a problem with nakedness as you all know but no i didn't like that and then we have Dante's Fury by Alchemy Gothic. Very cool. I mean, very cool. I need to look at that. I hope they have put in a crop. My hand, which is holding this, is like loosing. You know, feeling it's starting to shake. So, come on load so we don't have anything else to do today than sit around and wait for a picture to load what's what's happening come on why why is it always gonna you know be technical problems when you're floss tubing it doesn't want to show up okay never mind that was the last one that's 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 all that's all folks so i know it was a lot to look at but <clears throat> which one did you like the most for me I kind of like the one with the holiday friends, you know, the one with the, the snowman and the, uh, the squirrels. I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, I would say that would be my favorite this time. So, all right. Now we have come to the end of, the, of this floss tube and it's time for a giveaway. And the giveaway is um, this chart, and it was Laurie Kindler from Canada, who has been so kindly to provide me with this chart as to have to have it as a giveaway uh, on my channel. And I thought it would be great to do this now because next weekend I'm not having a floss tube since I'm off to my stitch retreat. So you guys have two weeks to sign up for this giveaway and don't say giveaway in your comments, okay? Um, because then you're not going to be able to win it. Uh, this is called Apple Harvest and I want you to put in the word uh, harvest in the comments below and you need to subscribe 
to my channel and you need to be over 18 years and if you're not go please ask your parents for permission and then I have this um, little um, stitchy kindness form to stitch out you will find it down below in the comments no in the description of this video you need to fill out the form and where it says what's your youtube uh, name i don't mean do you have a youtube channel i mean what is your name on youtube so i know who you are right so please fill out the name you use on youtube uh, so those are the three things subscribe write in harvest in the comments and uh, fill out the form please do that and i don't know how i'm <laughs> no we'll just leave it at that and to the um the design i'm throwing in this sweet little needle minder of a um what was the name hognose i guess i guess hognose is it called hognose never mind that one is going in and also as a little treat i'm throwing in this sweet beautiful silks by jew designs from hungary so that's what's up for as a giveaway not this coming weekend but the weekend after which will be like the third of october all right and oh my god i hope i get to, to make a youtube video <laughs> that weekend because i'm gonna go and get my snakes that weekend yes whatever that's all so let's just stop talking let's get back to stitching and don't forget keep your distance wash your hands and uh, stay safe out there please subscribe like comment um and uh yeah that's all for today and then my dog came and opened the door so She's like, you're done, mom. Let's let's go out. Um, yeah, that's all. I'm Linda. This is 144 Hobbies. See you in two weeks. Bye.